So everyone, do not forget to keep using the hashtag, hashtag InnoMetro2022. Also, please mention at the rate InnoMetro2022 while you post on social media. Also, do visit our stalls at the exhibition. Our next speaker is Shri Shobit Tandon, Additional Director, Technical MP Metro Corporation Limited. Experienced top management professional with demonstrated history of working in the transportation, trucking, railroad industry, as well as consultancy and metro railway. Skill in operations management, feasibility studies management, transportation and contract management. Strong professional with a postgraduate diploma in management, finance and masters from Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. Let's welcome Sri Shobhit Tandon on stage. Can we please welcome him? Thank you. Over to you, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, distinguished guest here. Uh, I have a very small presentation with me. It's only the status of our project. Uh, MPMRCL is a SPB uh, which has been set up to execute the metro projects uh, in MP. Uh, we have uh, we are the f uh, one of the first uh, SPBs who are executing two metro projects simultaneously uh, since beginning. So uh, normally what has happened is uh, the, once the metro uh, SPB is set up completely, then only uh, the second, second uh, project has been taken up. But uh, we have, uh, since that both the cities, Bhopal and Indore came up together, so we have set up, uh, we are now in the process of uh, setting up the metros. The project uh, uh, sanction was in 2018 and then uh, the, our SPV was set up in December 2020 and uh, we are targeting to uh, start the operations in the next year, September for the both metros. The funding is from uh, EIB for Bhopal and uh, NDB and ADB uh, for uh, Indore. Uh, the pr project is two lines in Bhopal uh, and uh, uh, the total uh, length is around uh, six, uh, 16 kilometers and the sanction cost is around 7,000 crores. Uh, we have uh, identified a priority corridor which we will be starting uh, from Ames to Subhashnagar with a depot at Subhashnagar. Uh, the work of the viaduct uh, is a, uh, quite at advanced stage, it's almost 79 percent complete and uh, the, this, this, this the progress which I am showing you is uh, over and above the preparatory works which we have done. So Bhopal, the, the station constructs also has been awarded and the depot contract is also awarded, depot uh, formation have started and uh, we are expecting that we will be able to complete the uh, project at, for the, our timeline of September next year. Similarly, at Indore, we have a ring corridor, uh, which is around 30 kilometers, uh, with a depot at uh, Gandhinagar. Priority corridor here it's, is a pretty big one, it's almost half of the length, so around uh, 17 kilometers of the priority corridor we have identified. It starts from airport and goes up to uh, from the ISBT up to Redison Square. Uh, the, we have divided the viaduct. Recently we have awarded the viaduct contract as well as the station contract here. Uh, it's almost six months back. And uh, it, the uh, progress is uh, as of now uh, over and above the initial preparatory 25 percent, around 15 percent we have done uh, the progress including the piling, the uh, viaduct and the casting yard also has been set up. So uh, we expect that uh, for uh, Indore also we will be able to uh, start the priority corridor operations at least uh, in the time of September 23. Uh, this is the uh, funding details, the funding has been tied up. Other than priority corridor at Indore is under, uh, some, uh, some of it is underground that is with ADB. Other than that the funds are already tied up. The major features I have I already told you, two projects being commissioned, the feature is uh, driverless operation, Goa 4, inbuilt into it and uh, the contracts are design and build contracts uh, in order to achieve, we, we are able to achieve savings as well as 
faster execution. Here we have in fact standardized the bid documents including the system contract documents which are uh, which have been uh, done in, in, in the standard manner. Rolling stock and uh, other contracts also are uh, part of that same same scheme which is not there in other metros normally. The bidding is also through CPP portal. The organization is extremely lean as of now and uh, we have been able to execute say around uh, 50-60 uh, staff for the whole, both the metros. We have been executing along with GC of course, but the organization is pretty lean and we have, we have been able to innovate on some things. The planning is pretty long term and uh, we, have, uh, we, have been tar we are targeting IGBC platinum rating for stations as well as uh, uh, depot and uh, we have in incorporated in water harvesting all along. The multimodal integration for, for Indore, we have uh, already identified uh, integration with uh, ISBT the airport and all along the corridor with e-rickshaws and uh, uh, in fact we are also trying for a cable uh, integration at Indore. Similarly at Bhopal both railway, railway stations are integrated, our entry exits are integrated with uh, the railway station, uh, main, mainline railway stations. So that is pretty extensive as far as multimodal integration is concerned. Uh, the power supply is uh, already identified and since uh, Bhopal and Indore uh, don't have underground uh, supply, so we have, uh, we have tied up with MPPTCL and the uh, city area they have started for first time with underground uh, cabling. The, as we were discussing just now with uh, Mr. Kare was also discussing, we have uh, uh, incorporated 15 year of uh, rolling stock maintenance uh, in, the, uh, in the main contract itself and uh, seven year maintenance contract for signaling. Similarly, seven years maintenance contract for telecom systems. Uh, we hope that uh, we will be able to uh, finalize this and uh, go ahead with this and uh, uh, receive our rolling stock. Uh, the focus uh, which we would like uh, on uh, non fair force uh, revenues also, we have identified some land parcels for non fair because these are all small, both the small cities are small. So we would like uh, industry to participate in this. We already have uh, our AFC on uh, PPP basis. So uh, there are some other uh, parcels which are available, some other packages are available. So we would like definitely industry to participate in, uh, uh, as far as possible on the PPP mode. Uh, so to uh, improve the viability of the projects. Uh, our target is commissioning date as I was already telling you for uh, the priority corridors is September and then going ahead up to uh, 25 we would be able to we should be able to uh, com complete and commission. These are some uh, status of our uh, project here uh, which we have been able to do in Bhopal and uh, then the Bhopal mostly 78-79% of the priority corridor viaduct is complete <coughs> and then uh, in, in Indore also it is uh, it has picked up uh, off late and uh, we would be able to uh, further uh, the resources have been mobilized there and we should be able to uh, execute these projects as, as quickly as possible. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much sir. May I please request Mr. Rajesh Agarwal, consulted former member Rolling Stock Railway Board, Ministry of Railways, to please join us. To present the memento to Sri Shobhit Tandon. Thank you so much, sir.